Entendi que eu falei do pussy. No! <laughs> no, I didn't do that. People, Brit went out and had her party and it looked like says, she had a hell of a great time. But you know something, there is more to the story than that. I want to advise you young ladies that whenever you are going out there and having fun, you've got to have your wits about you. This world is safe. Anyway, I want you guys to listen to exactly what went down on Brittany's birthday celebration night. And trust me, it a got shock on her. Anyway, take a listen there and tell me what you guys think. Uh, you're pumping all use it. I saw you guys. And just, you know, and, well, I'm kind of worried. But I'm, I'm trying to cope. Yeah, but I'm kind of worried. Uh, about what happened. Of course, I'm kind of worried. <laughs> ah. um, we didn't use any protection. We didn't get the time. We were outside in a public place. And if it was in the public with it, I don't you understand. I wonder if this person is one of my friends that come in here and watch me all the time. Boy, isn't it interesting that after shortly after Brit celebrating her birthday and put up our 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 millions, our million of dollars, one point three million, and so she end up in a position where she's having a one night stand with somebody who could very well be a fan that I watch Brit. You know, you never know. You know, I mean, this is this is more than coincidence. In addition to that, it is so unsafe, Brit. Oh, you have to do something like that. Anyway, I want you guys to listen to what else happened on the rest of the night. And then we'll have a discussion about this. Because young ladies out there are taking their life a joke, yo. At the end of the day, anything can happen to you. And you end up having, you know, contracting some disease that is permanent for the rest of your life. You have to be careful the things that you are doing out there. Nobody thinks that having a good time and letting go yourself and being young and reckless is the answer. The party vibe, like the minute I did it, I just wanted to go home. <laughs> it was like I come to my senses. <coughs> I have to go. <laughs> Um, if I probably see him now, I probably don't know him. It was just in my vibe, in my mood. You know what I mean? I know it's not safe. That's what I'm telling you, weirdo. I know I fucked up. So I'm trying to talk. I know I fucked up, okay? We're not perfect. It's not a prank, it's true. It's true, it, ha it happened. Okay? It happened. It happens. It happens. It fucking happens. You understand me? So you're not gonna come on here, sit down and bash me to make me feel better myself.
All I know, it was some good dick though. It was really hard and nice. It was some really good dick. But besides that, nothing else happened. Very good. That's what I remember. Nothing else, really. Everything else, I think. Uh, if I see him today, I don't know that nigga. I don't know his face. I don't know his moves. And if, I, if, he, if he probably sees me, he probably won't be my type either. So if he come back to me, just ask me out, you're not going to be my type anymore. Because all you did me... Where are you? Do you even have a heart? You're not gonna be my type. I probably won't remember you because how you did me wrong. So don't go around telling people I'm crazy. Mm, I am not crazy now. It is how you did me, my brother. That is why I can't remember you. I mean no disrespect or harm to you. That is life. You treat me bad. I never, I never remember you. I forget you. That's my gift now. You treat me good. I probably remember you. I probably don't fuck you anyway. You get what I'm saying? Everything? Yeah. I don't remember that nigga. I don't give a fuck what you got to say. But you just put me on a back shot. You don't ask for your number? That nigga don't ask for my number. Nothing. We just, we just did it. And then we both just started to move. Like we knew we did something wrong. We just disappeared. Like he separated, I separated. Like we just go. I'm like, what just, what just happened? And yeah, it happened. And you want me to rem rem remember your face? <laughs> I can't remember a thing. Oh, no, you had some good dick. Goodbye. Next. Next. Thanks for coming. Mighty God in heaven. You know, it sounds as though Brit was under the influence of a lot of alcohol. It sounds as though both of them might have been. But you know what I'm going to say to you? You see, you young men, if you end up in a situation where you go to a party and you end up with a girl and you dance and things get heated and it looks like the girl is under the influence of alcohol, do not have any kind of sexual engagement with this young lady. Because if she is inebriated, that means that she is not in full capacity mentally for make a conscious decision as to whether or not she really wants to sleep with you. You understand me? Now, I don't like the fact that Brit is turning around and blaming this young man and saying, you know, you did me wrong and whatever, because that implied to me that maybe she was drunk and he may not have been. You understand? But you know, there's another concern that I have here because at the end of the day, we all know about something called revenge porn. It's a very big deal, particularly when you're a celebrity. People will use blackmail material to try and get to extort you, to humiliate you, to take you down several pegs when them think you're too popular. You understand? And it's interesting how just as Brit come out at talk about her money, some random dude end up a have a one night stand with the young lady. And listen to the position that them get themselves in. Now you know the camera can run from them position there very easy. And you never know if the man have footage of the thing. You understand? So maybe the smart thing Brit did was that she came on her platform and she told all of her fans exactly what she went through and she did not hide it. Because you never know what can come out to haunt you in the future. So now, once it is out there and everybody know that this take place, if this young man step forward and try to humiliate Brit certain way, it now go work so that is a good move in terms of getting it out there and setting our conscience free i really hope that that is not the case and it's a case of two young silly people who went and did something that they should not have done but on another note young ladies please 
Value your bodies more than this. A simple bit of excitement, a small moment of fun can be a lifetime of pain and torture. You never know if as a result of this one thing that you guys go out and do, that you end up having to deal with things like HIV and all kinds of other STDs that can just ravage your body, you understand? There is also the potential of pregnancy because don't think say, a man I forgot the full on dread and come in you in order for you to breed because you can get pregnant from the pre-cum as well. So I do hope that Brit takes the necessary precautions, goes and gets herself checked up, takes a morning after after pill and also you know take the HIV test as well to make sure that her body is free from disease I believe nowadays they have something called a rapid test so you know you can go and you can get it done fairly quickly you don't have to wait like three months like once upon a time right to see if your body is actually becoming positive so Anything that can be done to keep yourself safe, keep yourself safe and don't make these kind of silly mistakes. No amount of fun, no amount of excitement or hype is worth your life. You understand? And these young men out there are out there rolling reckless and careless. And the man probably all have him man I'm yeah, him woman I'm, I, I'm yeah, you know, and, and gone carry home him body, go get the next girl after sleeping with Brit Beer back. You understand me? Them kind of carelessness there people we gotta be better than this this is not safe at all and i am worried about brit and her mental state right now because she must be worried you understand me anyway big up yourself this is head teacher k